Thank you so much to the official channel sponsor, the Wealth Masters Club, for helping ordinary people make money through property investments in specialized trusts. Click the link in the description to find out more. Ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Prop In. If this is your first time here, I go with Nemo Spear Spear. What we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful homes in and around South Africa. Today we're looking at this brand new multi-level home in the Waterfall Country Estate. This is the largest residential estate in Waterfall. This waterfall has indigenous parks, uh, picnic spots, biking and hiking trails. A lot to mention. This has the that that all-inclusive estate lifestyle that they bring in this, these modern estates. Behind me, you can see this beautiful modern architecture. Before we get into this five-bedroom home, massive shout-out to Marisha for giving us this beautiful opportunity to look at her amazing listing. I'll put her details down below so you can contact her directly for more information. As always, if you haven't yet subscribed, go below, smash that subscribe button, give us a like, and tell us which areas you'd like us to explore next. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. Right, as you pull up to this home, you're greeted by this beautiful, neat motor court. Throughout the, the sides, it's very, it's very well hedged with this uh, shrubbery and greenery. And one thing that you will notice with the home, the, the, the lawns are very ma well manicured. But as we focus on the exterior facade of the building, you have these beautiful, beautiful cladding, stone cladding throughout both sides hedging the, the, the left and right side of the home. In front of me, you have this mirror finish to this two-car garage, but throughout the home, you can fit in, not inside the home, but outside the home, you can fit in maybe three more cars on this side and maybe two more cars the other side where we will show you guys a bit later. But outside, this is very stunning modern architecture. I love the fact that some of the pieces or some of the, the vertical members sort of recess from the external lining. So coming this side to the main entrance, we have these concrete steps with this infill rock pieces in between. To my right, you have a well manicured lawn, similar type of rock finish to my side and also a gate letting in extra cars in the parking I'll speak about. But you go in here and this large entryway, which is dramatized by this, sort of this water, rain water drip drop chandelier pieces overhanging the space. But I love this entryway, you have this large sort of um, aluminium doorway giving you that open space and also allowing that extra natural light lighting to flow in. So as you come this side into the home, into the main living area, open plan concept, but just a little bit about the home, it's a five bedroom home, all bedrooms are en suite. And on the third level, you have the flat lit, which also has its own bathroom setup, shower setup, which is very, very useful. And this property sits on a 1,200 square meter earth, which is very large. The home inside is 900 square meters of internal space. As you can see, as we walk in here, very beautiful framing, door framing, which is consistent throughout the, the home, this sort of um, dark timber, finish. You come in here, you have this large room which can be used for many reasons. Currently it's not staged for any particular reason, but it can be used for anything. Beautiful lighting. I like this, this LED lighting that has been sur that's surrounding this, this, this bulkhead. You have a TV set up there which can be installed. And so as you look that side, beautiful opening which brings in lighting. 
It's covered now by curtains, but it brings in excess lighting to this area. And from here, you can see the, the front uh, lawn. So coming back this side, I didn't mention this sort of pause area, beautiful setup. Uh, we come this side, in front of me you have this stunning water feature which has this sort of rock installation surrounding it. This rock installation is very consistent with what we will see outside with the swimming pool, very stunning. Coming this side, this area here is very impressive. Large, large area, it's a great room. Very high ceilings, you have almost like a three double volume ceilings here. And as soon as we come down behind me and to my left, if you look at the, stick, the stairs, it has this LED lighting and above us, the LED lighting additional, additional with the chand this crystal chandelier introduces that flamboyancy to this very beautiful room. And as we come inside, you have this large TV with the console pieces underneath. And on the, at the backdrop, you have this wallpaper with this nude, beautiful color. The TV, by the way, upon sale will stay and the furniture is negotiable. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Coming this side, the furniture has all been imported, Italian furniture, which has been imported. I love the color scheme that was used. It uses, the, throughout the home, you'll see it's very consistent, that earthy color tone with the nudes, browns, blacks, very, very consistent. Coming this side and hedging the room, you have these large, large aluminum openings and the sliding door here, which leads on and flows perfectly onto the backyard at, where you have this well manicured lawn and the swimming pool, which we will go to just a bit now. Coming this side, to my left, you have this gas fireplace, winter time, currently winter time in, in South Africa. You wouldn't tell today, but it actually is winter. Beautiful to use, very, heats up the whole room perfectly. And above us, this beautiful detail of these timber members which wrap around the whole hood of this fireplace. And I didn't mention this beautiful cladding that you have throughout this whole wall, and it brings out a little bit more textures to the space, makes it a little bit interesting. To my right, you have this dine, formal dining area where you ha it's seated 10 people. I love the, sort of the glass thick finish that you have to this table. It really does bring out the ambiance to the space because it reflects perfectly with the light fixture above and also with the, with the LED strip which we have also above us. I realize that we, we have a lot of LED strips in the bulkhead throughout this home in most of the rooms, which I love. I really love that. And you have this flush lighting throughout. Um, so coming this side and here you have this beautiful mirror which makes the space even feel larger. This space is adjacent to the kitchen. It's an open plan concept. It flows perfectly to this modern kitchen. I love this overhanging sort of breakfast island that you have here. And this countertop has this leathered finish. You have this darker finish contrasting with this lighter finish. It brings, it always brings sort of different energies and different um, feelings to the textures because you don't want everything to just be the same. You have this electrical Siemens stove here and behind me, these inter well integrated Siemens appliance and you have a built in freezer and, and um, freezer fridge. To my right here you have the freezer and to my left you have the fridge. Well integrated, I love this seamless finish and this white glass finish that you have to the kitchen. Here you have ex some extra countertop space, microwave, sink, a lot of cabinetry space and the cabinetry has also been Italian imported and this tinted finish is, is actually interesting because it's consistent throughout the whole home. We'll show you when we get to the top floor where you have the stunning tinted finish to the walk-in closet. So coming this side, this is just sort of the butler's pantry where you have, you even have a gas stove, extra fridge, extra cabinetry space, just some extra space for if you want someone to prepare food behind, uh, which is very sort of functional and makes sense. Coming this side where I didn't show you guys, this door leads to the two car garage and to my left here, you actually get the powder room, which is very beautiful. Here you get this obscured glass, which brings in natural lighting. But then you come in here, there's a very beautiful powder room. 
more more windows this side beautiful stunning fig, um, vanity and countertop here and you come this side and you look above you have this blue finish to, to the ceiling which always introduces something very interesting about this room i really love it and i'm sure it is soft clothes super soft clothes we love that and one thing which is actually the first time of us seeing it in this channel are these flush uh, components it actually has like buttons to the side which is very interesting we've never seen that so coming back to the main living space and one thing I also didn't show you guys this side is that you actually have a separate sort of cinema 12 seater setup here large room which is set up as a cinema but can be also uh, converted into maybe uh, another formal lounge area or tv room area but i love the setup here very interesting couch setup and to my left it overlooks this backyard stunning views i think at the far end you can see sort of the overall waterfall country estate um, area houses getting built very up uh, high up and coming area as you can see this side here you get a, an additional bedroom where this bedroom's ensuite this is the only bedroom that you get on this floor can be used as a guest bedroom a lot of lots of there's open shelving here but a lot of storage for anything that you might need and here you get sort of the bathroom set up for the guest bedroom coming back this side and going towards the study so coming out that the floor finish you have these large tile finish which has also a glass finish very beautiful it matches with all the different elements of this home behind me it's staircase going down to the sort of the covered the covered play area and gym area we'll show you guys a little bit in a little bit saving so sort of the best areas for last even though everything in this home is very beautiful so coming this side i love the skirting that's been used in this home as it's not it doesn't fill up the, the pathways or the space, but it's very flush with the walling, which I really love that. Coming in here, you have a study area, very well-sized study area. It overlooks also the garden area, and it also has a sort of a slit of window to look at the front yard. Gives you two sort of views. And coming back to this side, next thing that we're going to look at is the top floor where we will see four bedrooms, which all have ensuite. Let's go. Here's to the believers, the visionaries, and the game changers. To those that see the world as they are oyster. To those that make a difference in this world we live in, that believe in an inspired life and appreciate the beauty that the fastest growing node in South Africa, the KwaZulu Natal North Coast, has to offer. Here's to the professionals, businessmen, and family units that represent a true belief in a better life for all. The ones who see things differently. They are not fond of mediocrity and have no respect for the status quo who have unrelenting standards for their quality of life and accept nothing less than the best. Here's to the doers and not the talkers. It's the doers that change the world and that's why we remember them. They never stop believing and are always creating, building, envisioning and executing. It's the visionaries believers and game changers that we remember because they are legacy builders. In them, we see genius and a partnership in our shared vision. The people who believe they can change the world are the ones that do. Zambali Lakes, a vision for the believers. So coming up, beautiful staircase has this darker finish 
to it, contrasting with the floor, tiling lighter finish that we had on the ground floor. And looking at this crystal chandelier, very beautiful. It creates such a, a dramatic feel to the space. And to my right, you have this frosted uh, glass that introduces also natural lighting to this whole space here. Beautiful vertical sort of timber members that I really love and uh, sort of the texture that it gives and it's also consistent throughout the whole palette of this home. So coming up this staircase to my left as we come to this landing, this space has been so, so usefully used. You have this corner reading space here, which with this sort of autumn leaf uh, forest <laughs> wallpaper here, but it makes sense. So when you're reading, you're looking around at your surroundings it sort of like gives that simulation of feeling that you are in, in nature. It makes sense to me. So coming this side, here you have two bedrooms. These are currently staged as the kids' bedrooms. First one here, one thing I can say about the bedrooms is that they are massive. To my left and in front of me, you have the shelving, gives you that um, storage space. And so maybe if you wanna keep your books, um, here you have a desk set up with the windows which open up and bring that extra lighting. And here you have a beautiful setup where you have tile finish throughout, floating vanity and the likes. Very beautiful uh, bathroom to this bedroom. And also you have this large door which fills out the space very well. To my left, open shelving, two storage uh, compartments here, very, a lot of storage in this home. To my left, similar kind of setup to the one that we just saw. I think this one is slightly larger, but maybe the two beds are playing are playing with my with my sense of space. What do you think? Is it larger or? I think it's slightly larger because it goes all the way to the right. Yeah, actually, there's a lot more space that side. Anyways, similar amount of storage, a lot of storage. You'll never complain about storage in this room. Open shelving throughout and here, is also the water closet, bathroom, and shower setup. Really love that. And as soon as you walk in, you have this darker leaded finish tile, which I really love. It gives you that marble type of feel. Coming back to this side, and one thing that's different about this room compared to the other, you have this cornered view, which gives you sort of the, the overall view of waterfall country estate. Lovely mirror, perfect. Coming back this side. So coming out to this side, where we, we were just looking at the kids' bedroom. Another bedroom here, slightly larger, also en suite, sort of a wooden laminated floor finish, open shelving, large mirror, and this room overlooks sort of the front yard and motor court. Um, this side you have the water closet, slightly different uh, and, lo and larger water closet. You have a floating vanity here water closet and behind this door you have the shower everything you need and i love sort of this setup here you have like sort of seating area here very beautiful and sometimes you don't want to leave your room to have sort of a seating reading area you can have just this and to your guys's right we have a desk and study area there very beautiful if you guys come this side beautiful arrangement here this is a very cozy pajama lounge area. I really love these vertical timber members and they, they warm up the space very well. You come in here and this space is very cozy. I can imagine on like a, a winter coldish moody type of day sitting here watching your favorite movie could be very perfect. Also has the views of the front yard and motor court. Massive amount of lighting coming in here. I just noticed with this large opening and aluminum windows. And here we have this sort of passageway which leads us to one of the main bedrooms. But here we have to look at this, this stunning view that you have from here. Firstly, this crystal chandelier, which as I said, just creates that ambiance to the space. This overlooks the formal sort of sunken TV area. And one thing I love about this space is this large window or large uh, openings that you have here, which overlooks sort of the whole estate, not the whole estate, but some of the estate buildings, very beautiful views that you have from here. And it brings lighting to the space. 
So entering this master bedroom, large, generous in size, this room overlooks also the sort of the, the, the street side and the front facade of the building. Here you also have this beautiful sitting setup here, a little bit of open shelving for your books and a large bed here. Difference is with this room, you have your own balcony, which you can sort of have furniture and like soft furniture if you just want to sit here and enjoy the sun. A lot of sun, sun, uh, sunlight that comes into these rooms. As we come this side, you have this beautiful, beautiful bathroom. Similar to the, the previous bathroom with this dark finished leather tile. And then you have the floating vanity here. If you guys did, I don't think you guys noticed that, but the LED automatically switched on, which is very cool. Here you have a jacuzzi setup, large shower head, walk-in shower, very large shower here. And you have this sort of obscured glass, which brings in light to the shower. Here behind you guys, to my left, you have a bathroom setup here, water closet, and also a little bit of um, space to store some of your uh, bathroom utilities. So coming back, this is very actually very cool. You have a double or dual double se um, tap setup, but you have a single outlet, which is very cool, very unique. Never seen that. Coming this side, this is a large walk-in closet. Automatic lighting, which is also very cool. You have this tinted finish to these cabin trees, which is. As I said, in the kitchen, very consistent throughout the whole home. All the cabinetry throughout the home and in this closet has been imported from Italy. Open shelving this side. There's a lot of storage in this walk-in closet, which is very useful. And I love the fact that it's, it's also very style, stylish and very aesthetic in terms of the way it's been presented. Lovely top level, but to finish off the video, we're going to go to the third level, which is at the pool side. Let's go. So going back to the living area or TV area and coming down here to the third level, very beautiful backyard. This I can imagine having a couple people over and just having people enjoy your backyard. Here you have this six by 10 meter pool with a separate sort of six by three kids pool jacuzzi area. But to my right, before we get there to my right, we have this drive in that you can have sort of a couple of three, uh, I guess three cars parked in here, giving you access to a, a lot more parking than the front side. And throughout the whole swimming pool, you have this rock installation throughout, giving you that natural feel to the whole um, yard. One thing I do love about the home, it's very neat and very well kept, which I really love. So coming this side to this pool, you have a mirror finish, that side, the deep side, which, which increases the space even more. So looking at this home and looking at the architecture, very well built, home modern architecture very stylish i love the so also the palette that it gives to the home with this dark grays and lighter grays that you have on the walls coming this side and as i said you have this sort of smaller six by ten six by three jacuzzi for the kids um, and this side you have the covered play room area where you have currently a ping pong table and next to it you have this private gym which is very well equipped i'm sure if you wanted more equipment in this gym there's lots of storage or lots of space to introduce more equipment behind there you have a, a mirror finish when you're curling just to look at those biceps very cool <laughs> coming to this side and i maybe mentioned it before but here you have a flat lid for the for your staff very well equipped you have uh, you have the bedroom here with its own storage and here you have this sort of bathroom setup and um, yeah shower basin water closet this can also be used sort of as a guest uh, bedroom guest setup and if definitely if you want your guests to overstay their visit put them in here 
and <laughs> they will overstay their visit. So as you've seen from the backyard, this backyard or home is, is, is prime for sort of entertainers looking to have a couple of people over and just enjoy that Saturday bright day. It's very prime for that. I really love the feel of this backyard. It gives you that natural feel. Thank you for making it this far in the video. If you did enjoy it, smash that subscribe button. And before we end this tour, massive shout out to Marisha for giving us this amazing opportunity to look at her stunning listing. I'll put her details and the listing details down below. If you did enjoy, let us know which was the best part about the home that you did enjoy. And, all, and also let us know which areas you'd like us to tour next from myself and Neo. Until next time, see you soon. Thank you so much to the official channel sponsor, the Wealth Masters Club, for helping ordinary people make money through property investments in specialized trusts. Click the link in the description to find out more. Ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in.